Um, during the early stages of my uh, of my career, um, I remember the day I met Robert Claviles, uh, huge, huge uh, music producer uh, from the uh, CNC Music Factory, um, and he had a song called "In the Shadows," and we had a mutual friend who had let us uh, me and my uh, uh, group at the time, this was when we first started to develop Boys in the Lab, we didn't have a, a, a set single yet. So we're in the car with Eddie Rivera, who was uh, at the time again was a huge, huge record pool music promoter. And uh, he invited us out to dinner. So we're in his, uh, I think it was a Lincoln Mark 7, Mark 8 or something like that. And, uh, and he's playing the, the the song and I'm like you know what this was a fantastic fantastic so I love this song and I had told Eddie you know I would love to do this as a Spanish track because it was already done in English and it sounded amazing whether it was released or not I'm not quite sure but it, it was a demo at the time and um, uh, Robert Clovelis had dropped it off to Eddie Eddie let us hear and I'm like wow that's a fantastic song I would love to write it because I'm obviously somebody's already singing it in English let me try it in Spanish. So we were in the car heading out to dinner and I had already done a demo to the Spanish version of it. And we went, we picked up Robert and we were in the car heading out to dinner to an Italian place down in Manhattan on 5th or 6th or, or Avenue, somewhere down there. And he pops in the tape. Uh, yeah, it was tape, cassette at the time, yeah. Um, and Robert is there listening to it, and of course, he's, you know, Eddie had told him, Robert, this is this Felix, Felix, Robert, this is uh, the song that he did. He interpreted your song in the shadow into a Spanish version, and um, that was am amazing just to be in the car with him because here it is again, no one knows how a person is outside of the limelight and he Robert was such a down-to-earth person is unbelievable we were talking like nothing he did enjoy the but being that he did enjoy the remix but he was so busy in his in his life that was his prime right there he was had so many different hits already out and for us to be going out to dinner together hanging out like that was uh, something I would never ever forget um, I also at the same time remember again with Eddie Rivera we went out to the movies to uh, see La Bamba with uh, Lou Diamond Phillips with him in the movie, not with him going out with us. Who we ended up going with was Lisa Lisa. Um, and we had gone out that night. And mind you, if you recall the story of La Bamba, uh, Richie Valens dies at the end in a plane crash. So we watched the movie, it was a fantastic film, we're leaving and we notice Lisa is sniffling and we're like, what's going on? And we notice she's crying and I'm like, oh my God, what, what happened? To find out that a week from the night that we went out to see this movie, she had to fly out to Japan. She had a tour that she had to fly out to and that we put two and two together and said, Jesus, this, this is a bad movie for us to have gone to see, but we didn't think about it at the time. But um, that was that was something else. I felt bad. It was a good thing at the time because we're hanging out again with Lisa Lisa and, and going out to the movies with her and Eddie and Eddie Rivera. But we didn't think of the consequences of the aftershock, I guess, for her, for the simple reason that she had to fly out to Japan on a tour. And that's how Richie Valens had died on a flight. So it was it was a, it was like an it was an interesting experience meeting her too, which again another person she was a beautiful person uh down to earth i say was because we haven't seen each other since but um that was another experience that was pretty cool so yeah meeting robert clavillas and 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 uh and lisa lisa was fascinating it was a fun time really fun time great circumstances too because it also uh, kept progressing our career being around these people and, and, and learning from them, you know, and especially with Robert and his, uh, his production style and such. I mean, he, he opened a lot of doors for us. Um, and I figured, you know, I'd share this story too, why not?